a big hello and a warm welcome to all of you all to a channel which always gives you interview question and gives you sample answers as well so the best part about this entire series that we are covering for last so many days is with examples and they all are research content and today we are yet very close to answering a very important question in an interview and that is what are your strengths and everybody does have right so let's say this is a classic interview question it seems simple enough but these four words what are your strengths present something of a minefield for candidates that's because it requires you to tread carefully between two parts to humble on one side and to arrogant on the other side for that reason most candidates don't answer it well too much humility and you'll undersell your achievement and skills leading the employer to think you are less competent and then you are but oversell yourself too much and you can easily come across as self interested and potentially unable to work well in a team and both of these can happen by accident if you don't prepare properly if you're caught out you can easily end up drawing a blank or pushing too hard on the one strength you can bring to mind prepare well however and this question can be used to your advantage it's an open invitation to talk about your skills your accomplishments and to show how you match the employer's values and requirements you must be ready to stand out and demonstrate your unique value as a candidate interviewers are looking to see how you assess your strengths and how that fits with the role why do interviewers ask at all this question like its counterpart what are your weaknesses you would definitely have your strengths as well so this question is very likely to come up at your next job interview in fact they are often asked together there are several things that your prospective employer may be looking to uncover for example they might want to ensure that your strengths are in line with the skill sets required for the job or role check whether you are self aware and be able to speak about yourself with confidence test for qualities and experience that set you apart from the competition assess your communication skills see how you think on that particular spot different ways of asking the strengths question because it's a broad and open ended question employers will often word it in different ways don't be caught out if they are giving you an open opportunity to talk about your strengths then it's this question learn how to recognize it and how to apply your planning and you'll never be thrown off here are some of the questions more common guises How would you apply your key strengths to this particular position? Why should we hire you? What makes you the ideal candidate for this particular job? What makes you a good fit for this position? What do you feel sets you apart from the competition? What would your colleagues say you bring to a team? What accomplishment are you most proud of? Which traits do you have that make you most suitable for the role? Each of the question that I mentioned just now are asked the same essential or they require the same essential ingredients what are you good at and why would we want those skills in our company from your side of course you don't want to answer all of these questions in the same way and come across as robotic take note of how the question was put to you and tailor your answer appropriately for instance if the question is about your proudest achievement start by describing an example you are happy with and then discuss the strengths that surround that particular example being able to adapt your answer to whatever question is thrown at you will not only put across your key strengths in a more engaging way but will also demonstrate your communication abilities be prepared for follow up questions to be asked most often you will be asked something like how have you used the strengths you have just mentioned in your previous role or in your school or your college that is why it's important to prepare thoroughly and broadly you might not get around to mentioning everything in your first answer but the follow up should draw on anything else so how to assess and select your best strengths 
Your aim is not to convince the interviewer that you are the world's best employee. Instead, you need to show them that you are the right employer for the job at hand. You can probably come up with a ton of strengths and personal qualities that you think you would help, but you need to choose the best ones to focus on. Here are some important tips. First, identify your top five strengths. When planning your answers, it's a good idea to categorize the various strengths that you wish to present and prepare a few examples along with from each category. Hard skills. Hard skills are learned. They may be skills acquired during your education or within the workplace. They might include ICT skills, computer skills, industry knowledge, internship, project, social media skills, qualifications, or maybe how to use effective Gmail, right, right, or G Suits for now, Microsoft, Office, training, technical skills, it could be anything, you know, falling in this particular bracket, all that I mentioned just now. These will often be specified in the job advertisement, so you need to have a very close look at it. If it's a required skill, then it's probably best one not to focus on it too closely, right? as every candidate will have that particular skill but you will need an example or a tool to prove your proficiency soft skills these are less easy to quantify but could include interpersonal and transferable skills which i have already explained in most of my videos and there's an exclusive video both on interpersonal skill as well as soft skills go and have a look at it for example communication planning problem solving dependability flexibility adaptability teamwork learning agility it could be anything other strengths you might want to show evidence for these competencies are all worth considering ability to cope with failures and learn from mistakes ability to prioritize analytical thinking attention to detail process focus organization organizing skills punctuality discipline self-confidence knowledgeable again working under pressure anything Second is link your strengths to the requirement of the job. Make sure to read the job description thoroughly and identify the key strengths required for the role. Once you have done this, go back to your shortlist of your strengths and choose the ones that best fit the best parameter. If there is a need for interaction with multiple departments, you can take this to mean that excellent communication and interpersonal skills will be of great importance to you. Worth mentioning there. If the role requires working on your own with clients a lot of time, they will be looking for someone who can take the initiative, be independent and be organized or calm. Think quality, not quantity. Focus on a few key strengths and explain these succinctly. That will be much more memorable than a scattergun approach. Aim to strike a balance between overconfidence and underselling yourself. If you list too many strengths, you risk surround arrogance. Too few implies a lack of confidence or worse still, a lack of skills. Fourth, back up your strengths with example, always. Always have an example ready for each strength. A skill without a concrete example means little to someone who doesn't know you. For example, if you mention excellent communication skills, you could follow this up and how this helped you run multiple social media platforms during your work or your educational you know, journey. The best way to prepare for questions about your strength is by doing as much practice as possible. Some sample answers. The answers you use in the interview should feel natural and unscripted so that you can adapt to the wording of the question and use your own experiences. With that said, we have come up with a few examples. So let's try example number one. I am highly adaptable to change during my internship. A new payroll system was introduced and other members of staff were unhappy about it. I taught myself how to use the system in my own time and was then able to train others how to use it. The answer states concisely what the strength is before immediately following it up with an anecdotal example from a previous employer to reinforce it. It's an example that shows how the candidate's strength provided concrete benefits to their employer while also hinting at other skills indirectly like the ability to learn a new technical system quickly and the initiative and interpersonal skills to help colleagues. Example number two, 
I excel when dealing with clients. In my last job, a customer was very unhappy when the delivery of a sample product was not made on time, which meant that they lost out on making a major sale. I went out of my way to listen to the customer's concerns and understand everything that was wrong. I apologized and presented a solution by calling other clients to see if they had any spare samples, which I volunteered to deliver to the customer the following day. Again, this example begins with a skill and lay out a step-by-step -step example of that particular skill in action with a previous employer. It demonstrates that not only is the candidate good at dealing with clients, but that they genuinely care about them going out of their way to rectify a situation. In addition to their interpersonal skills, this is a candidate that cares about their job and won't just do the bare minimum. Let's see example number three. I have always considered myself to have a strong work ethic. I always aim to meet deadlines. As part of a work placement, I was working with a customer who had my team on a strict deadline. For reasons beyond my control, there was some confusion in the delivery of crucial documents, which didn't get to our office until late in the afternoon before the deadline. Rather than go home, I volunteered to stay late and finish everything, ensuring that the deadline was met and that the work was of high standards. With a concrete example, this candidate demonstrates that they are a hard worker who is willing to be flexible and get on with the job if things don't go to the plan rather than picking or maybe complaining. So let's apply star technique. Each of the above example can be put to star and can be put as simply. Situation. Uh, give the context of the example. What was the project? Who was the client? Were you working in a team? Task. Now move to a specifics and describe what your role in the project was and what your goal was. Action. Describe the action that you took towards that goal. Be careful not to talk about the team's contribution here. This part is your time to shine. How did you bring your team closer to, the go to that particular goal? Result. Finally, talk about the outcome of your actions. If you can add some numbers in here, saying that your boss told you job well done is fine. But to be able to say you increase profits by 20% for that quarter, this is much better than more being concrete. When giving answers, candidates will often leave out important parts of the scenario they are trying to explain. For instance, they might describe their task and what they did but add no context. Or they might talk eloquently about what they did but fail to mention whether their actions brought any results. So by practicing using the STAR techniques and ensuring all your answers follow it, you can be sure that you cover all bases. It also helps you to stay focused and concise rather than having to jump backwards or forwards to explain important details you forgot to mention. Now mistakes to avoid. Uh, giving a list of strengths, reeling of adjectives without any consideration for a job specification or without concrete examples to back them up can make your response forgettable and risks making you sound arrogant. Remember to think of the specific strengths uh, you have that make you a good fit for that particular role. Second, irrelevant answers. Any strengths you give should be related to the skills expected of the ideal candidate for example, if you are applying for a job in accountancy, saying you are a great athlete is unlikely to enhance your application. Irrelevant answers may also suggest to the interviewer that your weaknesses lie in areas crucial to the job. Vague or general answers. You need to demonstrate self-awareness so it isn't a good idea to say that you are strong in many respects but can't think of anything in particular. Back up your answers with short examples and make sure you know your strengths in advance since any hesitation risks undermining your answer. This is not a time to sit on the fence or be overly modest. So what if you don't know your strengths? If you find yourself struggling to come up with a list of strengths, you might want to try some of these approaches. One, ask someone else. Getting a fresh perspective can help to bring out an accurate reflection of what you are good at. Try asking someone who knows you well, such as friend, colleague, family, what they think your strengths could be. Second, look back on past praise and achievement. Try to recall any praise or feedback you received as a student or during any internships or work placement or a project. It's always a good idea to keep a personal file of any positive feedback you receive throughout your education and employment. 
Similarly, review any achievements you have included in your CV and identify what stands out. Look at the key skills of others in a role similar to yours. Browse LinkedIn and see what skills and endorsements are most prominent in the profiles of people currently doing a similar role to the, to the ones you are looking at. Think about whether you have those skills or not. Final thought, it's highly likely that you will be asked questions about your strengths during the recruitment process. Throughout the interview, try look out for opportunities to communicate the strengths that are most relevant to the role. If you are asked about your previous employment or experience, try to share an example which relates to one of your strengths. If you can't find the opportunity, you may be asked if you have anything to add at the end of the interview, at which point you could offer a summary of your strengths and emphasize how they make you the best candidate for the position. Perhaps the most important piece of advice to take on board is to always be honest. Blowing your interviewers away with talk of your amazing IT skills only for them to discover one week if that you are a techno foe will not go down well. It may even have you back on your job search. So think before you speak. Was that useful? I'm sure it would be. It's a complete exhaustive way of finding your strength and weakness too. Best prepared, be best. Thank you.